our goal is to um, understand and conserve and increase the population of Mariana crows on Rhoda. It's a species that's unique to Rhoda and Guam. It's an important heritage of the people. Sarah Fagri is a field supervisor and co-investigator of the Mariana Crow Recovery Project, working through the University of Washington. Her team, in collaboration with local agencies, has studied the bird for years on Rhoda. We're now at a point where the remaining population is entirely on Rhoda. Um, we believe there are around 200 individuals living in the wild on Rhoda. Research scientist Henry Fandel says that while milestones have been reached, there still is work to be done. Still very much trying to understand um, precisely what happened. Um, there is a lot of evidence uh, that, sh that shows that there was uh, or is an ongoing fungus that has created like a systemic infection in the aga, uh, specifically young aga, that leads to high rates of mortality. He says the introduction of feral cats is also a cause for population decline. The project surveys the 80 different areas they live in on Rhoda, looks for nests, ban the birds for identification, and track them with small radio backpacks. After years of stagnation, they're seeing promising results. Right now, we are about um, 20 pairs shy of a sustainable level on Rhoda, and you know there isn't a second population right now, and so we're working uh, very hard towards reaching those goals. Having a second population would fill the requirements that define sustainability. They're also working on a grant for a translocation plan. This translocation plan would be essentially addressing the feasibility of different options for like which island we could uh, we could use for the second population of Aga. Um, and I think that will consider the, you know, the challenges and the benefits of both Guam and the Northern Islands. The program has been relatively safe from the pandemic as most of their small team already works in isolation, but it comes at a cost. Recently been dealing with the concern of the, the cost of quarantine for new technicians that we bring in either from the mainland or even Guam. You know, we know we're going to be hiring locals. We're interested in considering UOG students, but bringing in new people from Guam through the quarantine is, is an expense we didn't budget for. So we're now seeking an additional grant to ensure that we can still hire all of the staff we need to complete our work. That work, she says, comes with a deep sense of responsibility. This is the, the Aga of the Mariana Islands, of Rhoda and Guam, and I want that to be, that ownership of the natural resources to be taken back by the people. Tomas Maglotnia for KUAM News on Rhoda.